Hello, everybody. Once again, welcome to Two Early Hours. What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. So today is another bright and early morning. As you can see, I'm already all done up. I'm currently standing in Panera because I'm getting my breakfast before we take off for Salem, Massachusetts. We are going to be spending the next four days there. Alex is over there getting his meal uh, all sorted out, but he's coming with me. And I'm really excited. I've wanted to go to Salem for a very long time. It's sort of like witch vibes and I'm all into that, especially now around the Halloween season. So I'm really excited. So we are currently in a Harry Potter theme store. Alex, tell us about what you're finding. Uh, Harry Potter store. Anyway, as you can see, lots of like wizarding stuff behind me. There's a sorting hat. You know, I myself am not a huge Harry Potter fan, but if I were to be sorted into a house, I'd like to think I'm a Hufflepuff just because you've seen me. We are currently in the Ouija board museum. Yes, lots of cool things happening here. Lots of really old Ouija boards that, you know, not many people would see, such as the Oh My Fortune Telling Heart Game Ouija board for little girls. Because, you know, you gotta start early. I just thought you guys should see this because it makes me very happy. Come on, Ouija board, you find me a man. I mean, can relate. Oh look, it's me, your girl, burn it up. Before, after. Look guys, it's me and me if I gain weight. Hey guys, so I had a little bit of a moment to myself. Alex went to go use the bathroom, so I thought I'd sit down and give you guys a first impressions of what I think of Salem so far. A couple things I noticed, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting. From what I understood from my research, most of the main shops are on this street, which is Essex Street, and that's kind of where we've been hanging out for the most part since we got here. It's not all here, like a lot of it is on different streets, other side streets. There's a lot of museums that we definitely want to check out, but we're probably going to have to dedicate an entire different day just to that, just so we can get all the shopping we want done today as well. But there's a lot going on. Most people here are in costume, which is also really cool. That could also just be part of the Halloween season, but I have a feeling people just do this in general all year round, which is primo. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's a bit colder than I was expecting to, but I mean, I expected it to be a little bit colder. Kind of regretting leaving my leather jacket in the car, but overall enjoying it so far. Guys, so we're at this Japanese restaurant and we ordered boba and look at the little glasses they came in, they're skulls! I am obsessed. I'm gonna go home and make this in my own home, even though I don't have the ingredients or the glasses. I'll make it happen, okay? Hey 
everybody. So it's currently close to, I want to say 8 p.m. on Friday. We just checked into the hotel room and of course there's already problems. As soon as we received our room key and got into the room, we realized that there is an overnight parking pass that I have to put in my car. So I sent Alex down to I'm sure you've noticed the beeping. <laughs> the other thing I was going to mention was that our smoke alarm was busted as we entered the room. So we just had an engineer come and fix that while Alex was downstairs putting the overnight parking pass in my car. So a lot has happened in the five oh. minutes that we've been checked into this hotel. Anyway, we had a lovely day in Salem first day. Hello. Now he wants to be in the video. So anyway, um. He's tired, that's the only reason he's tolerating me. Anyway, so the town of Salem itself was cute. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little more colonial, but it still is pretty old looking in terms of the street and things like that. But I don't know, it was also very busy and, and bumbling. There was a lot of people and because of the COVID-19 situation, many of the stores had limited capacity. So we had to wait in line a lot of the day in the cold. So. Tomorrow, I will be sure to get up early so we can get to these stores quicker and not have to wait in so many lines. Maybe we'll go to some museums, but either way, I'll keep you posted. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and we just woke up about an hour ago. This is the view from our hotel room. As you can see, very scenic. You got a little bit of a lake going on over there and you saw a farm earlier, alfalfa farm. This is the look today, going full witch. I felt very underdressed actually yesterday, despite trying my best. People were like decked out and everything. Let's take you on an adventure. Let's see what we do today. We found this cute little donut shop called Honeydew. They gave me a lovely iced chai tea, which as we all know is the easiest way to warm up in heart. So I'm excited to get some food in my belly and then go to this museum. See you in a bit. So as you can see, this furniture is me-sized. It looks normal size from a close-up, but from a distance, you will see that it is actually, in fact, for children, like myself. Lonely, hi, Mr. Lonely, Mr. Nobody. A serpent cannot swim in water. A serpent should just not even bother. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Hello friends, we've returned to the curbside. So we went ahead and got some pastries at a local pastry place. Alex is happily eating his, I think it's called Suse. I'm not French, I don't, I don't know, something like that. I got a box of six macarons. I am very happy to eat them on this curbside. I don't even know how my lipstick looks right now. If it looks like garbage, I apologize. I can't really see. But yeah, I'm gonna eat these and get on with the rest of my day. Sunday, we are in the elevator going down to the car. We are going to Wharf Street today, which is the southeastern district of Salem, as far as I understand. So we'll see you over there. So 
that we finally got to the store I've been waiting this entire time to come to. It's called Dive With Your Boots On, and look at this place. It's like Hot Topic, but better. Look at all the shoes they have. I want all of them. Someone buy me all of them, please. No, seriously, because I can't afford them. So we're in a different store now, and I just gotta say that my boy Poseidon is hung. Boy howdy, shopping sure is a lot of work. Anyway, we got some good stuff. I mostly got clothes, Alex mostly got books because he's a bibliophile. I'm not sure what we're gonna do next. We might go get some ice cream and then probably later we are, well, actually we are. Later we are going to the Salem Witch Museum. I'm not sure if we're allowed to film in there, so that's why I'm telling you now. I'll be sure to get some shots, but we're just taking a breather. There's a lot to do in Salem. I think this area out of the two areas that we've seen, which is Essex Street and the Maritime District, which we're currently in, this is probably my favorite. This feels a lot more authentic. It's a lot quieter, that's for sure. This is a lot more sort of like what you would expect from Salem. So I'm happy we came here. It's me, now in spray form. What a beautiful gazebo that is being ruined by Alex's farty shoes. Hello friends. So as you can see, there's been a change in hats. I didn't get to take photos in the museum earlier, unfortunately, but we are back at the hotel. So do you recall yesterday when you saw like the meal that we were enjoying? Well, we put it in our hotel fridge which as we didn't know, is actually a hotel freezer because all of the food is frozen rock solid. That over there, frozen rock solid. These over here, like literally look at this fish, frozen rock solid, like not, like what is that? We are currently defrosting our food in the microwave provided by the hotel. So we're gonna be here for a minute until we finally get to eat. This is just a friendly tip to all my viewers. Make sure you check your temperatures for your fridges if you're staying in a hotel because you might be in for an icy surprise. Good morning, friends. So it is our last day in Salem. It's Monday, we're heading back today. And I just woke up and got dressed and realized that I look like a witchier version of Double D from Ed and Nettie. I mean, I'm not mad at it. So today is our last day in Salem. We get to make the four hour drive back to New York after we are done eating and going to our last attraction of the day, which is this monster museum. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film in there as I didn't get to film in the museum yesterday. As you can see, I have a pile of onions because onions are gross. Catch you up later. So Alex and I are buying matching shirts because we're disgusting. Bye Salem, until next time. Well, this concludes our big Salem adventure. What was your favorite part, Alex? Uh, the witches. The Excellent. We hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to give this video a like below. Have you ever been to Salem? If not, would you want to go? Tell me in the comment section below. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello. How's it going? Make sure to hit the garbage out of that subscribe button, also hitting the bell icon next to it to get the first notice of when my videos go up. I upload every Thursday. To all of my subs who have been here before, thank you so much for watching week after week. It really does mean so much to me. I hope you guys had or have a very happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Bye!